In different ages, yeah. too, because they're a the week numbers. apart or 10 days well, apart. Well, the average litter is four to six. We've had single yeah. litters. We've had single litters. We've had nine of them in a litter. You know, it, it varies, but the average litter is four to six. So we've got two in the average, and Hallie, Hallie had a litter of two in her first litter. And the second litter, she had seven. And her line usually has large litter. It was her mother that had nine. And took care of all of them. Just like Hallie had seven, no problem. I'll take more. No problem. No problem. Yeah. 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 That's another way where we're weird in that our moms will feed and clean each other's puppies. They couldn't care less. There's no animosity. They, all, they love them all, type of thing. Um, yeah. And they've been integrated now for like a month or they've been in, all in one. Yeah. And that helps make them more confident dogs, you know, and makes them more social. Uh, like we're giving them the start, you gotta continue. Definitely go to class, we're recommending classes. Not because we can't teach. You know, I'm a professional trainer. I can teach, sit down, stay calm, deal, leave it, you know, the basic command. I go to class. We keep it a puppy. We're, I'm going to class with the puppy because I want that socialization with other people, other dogs, different size dogs, different color people, different smell, <laughs> sense, everything. It exposes the dog and it makes them a more confident dog by the end of the course. I think. So it's all good you know, in, a positive, in a positive controlled environment. It's easier to go downtown, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we tried, you know, 20 schools before we settled on this one. I like the school. And it's based on positive reinforcement, which is important. Uh, you don't want anything. Like, Havanese thrive on positive reinforcement because they're one of the smart breeds. They get it. They connect the dots. Wait, if I do this, you're going to give me a treat? No problem. <laughs> they, they get that. They figure it out really quickly. <laughs> Oh yeah, and, if, and I'll let you know, like I will enroll my puppy in the class, I'll let you know which, you can join the class. We, we've had, in fact, we've had six Havanese in the class, you know, but it's better if it's mixed, you know, with different dogs, but to have two, three of us in a class along with two, three other dogs, one or something. Then we come early and the three dogs play again. Works for me. I love it. <laughs> The class is 45 minutes, 45 minutes. And, and practice is 10 minutes a night. Okay. More than that, they do those four. Yeah. But if you do 10 minutes a night, by the next week, you've nailed everything you've learned in the first week. At the end of a six week course, your dog is healing perfectly the rest of their life on your left hand side, never pulling you on their It's such a no brainer to take these courses. I've had so many people go here. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody's got a website these days. Go to who's walking whose website. It's in my original information sheet. I gave that link. And compare it to anyone you're looking at the in your area. And avoid messing with like this. Because that's my enjoyment. It's up and down the aisles and it's just not, it doesn't accomplish what we need. Okay, well, that's good. 
and then expect your dog to suddenly... It's the human. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got to plan your time. It's five, ten minutes. It's not like a big deal. Like every day, and you're ready for the next one. It's the same thing with grooming. So it doesn't matter what length you keep their hair in, full coat like we usually do, or, or shave down and tie. It doesn't matter. But whatever you do, you have to maintain it. Even if they are got no hair, you have to make sure there's no mats and not. And if you choose to keep them in full coat, which we think looks fantastic, you know, but you got to maintain it. Otherwise, if you don't brush them, then they get mats and knots and it hurts them. So, you know, so that's the caveat. So if you keep them in a full coat, then you got to be more diligent. It's still only five, ten minutes a night, you know, of maintaining it. And then, you know, every three weeks or so, you got to give them a bath, you know, whatever. But a uh, huge difference in their looks. Remember, their coat is hair, not fur, and they don't shed, so it's, they look fabulous. It, yeah. I mean, I think they look fabulous in full coat. 